In this video, we're going to take you through a fast or rapid intervention technique that can be used to remove an unconscious firefighter out of basement window. This becomes an option when you can extract a firefighter conventionally, such as out of stairwell. And this could happen if you're involved in a collapse. There are a couple problems though when trying to remove a firefighter out of basement window. The first is the height differential from the floor to the sill. The second problem that we're going to have is with the size of the window itself, which is more than likely going to be small, probably narrow and not very tall. So this is going to force us to place the firefighter in a low profile position and more than likely doff their SUVA. Now there are a few different techniques that you can use to execute this maneuver. And in this video, the one that we're going to show you isn't something that we came up with, but I like it because it's very effective for both small and large firefighters, and it doesn't require any specialized equipment. All you're going to need is a folding or pole ladder, which can be found on just about every engine and most ladder trucks. Usually it's 10 feet in length, but there are some out there that are 12 foot as well. As we all know, the folding or pole ladder is typically used to access an attic via a scuttle but it becomes an invaluable piece of equipment for this technique as well. Ideally guys, you want to practice this procedure on an acquired structure where you can also practice enlarging openings. But if you don't have an acquired structure available, you can use a training wall prop. Now if you haven't seen the training wall before, go ahead and take a look at my YouTube page. There's a video on there that takes you through it quite thoroughly. We made a few additions to the prop that allow us to practice this technique and before we get into the procedure or the demo, I want to show you what we added. To increase the durability of the sill riser block, we added a cap plate made out of ironwood. The second addition was a 2x4, which allows the height of the window opening to be adjusted. It's connected to the prop with two bolts that are a quarter inch in diameter by five and a half inches long. It's put in position from the outside and connected through the two 21 inch spacer blocks with wing nuts and washers. This allows the height of the window to be adjusted from 23 inches down to 14. When faced with a restricted opening, the firefighter's breathing apparatus will need to be removed. It's up to you if you want to completely disconnect the SUBA, but ideally a victim's air supply should be maintained until they're completely extracted from the environment. Your decision will be based both on the severity of the fire as well as the condition of the victim. The first step is to roll the firefighter so you have access to the straps. Remove the waist strap and the chest strap if one's in place. Loosen both shoulder straps and remove the top arm. Then roll the firefighter a second time and remove the other arm. You can also doff the firefighter's helmet to further reduce their profile. It's not necessary to roll the firefighter again as we did here. Just leave the firefighter in the second position until the ladder is received. If the ladder has rubber traction pads, position them up so they don't get caught on the sill during the extraction. Place the ladder on the ground, centered with the window opening. Then rotate the firefighter back on the ladder, face down. Center the firefighter on the ladder and extend both arms over the head in a superman position. Turn the firefighter's head to the side so that their MMR doesn't fall between the rungs. Place the SUBA on the hands with the top of the air cylinder facing the firefighter's head. It's not necessary to secure the path to the ladder as long as you balance all the straps. To make the removal more efficient, you can position a tool near the base of the window and place the ladder on top. This will create a cavity space, making it easier to grab the ladder and lift it off the floor. When you're ready to perform the lift, Try to use as much of your legs as possible and keep your cadence simple, something along the lines of ready go or ready lift. It may take two movements, one to your waist and one to your shoulders. Once the outside firefighters secure the tip, you can go to the base and bring the ladder into a horizontal position. Make sure to guide the firefighter out slowly and watch for any entanglements. 
After the tip of the ladder is balanced on a sill, this is a good time to make sure all the straps are secure so nothing will get caught or hung up during the final removal. Make sure to pay close attention to the firefighter's hands and head. Slow down at the end and lift the feet so they don't get caught between the ladder and sill.